No one's managed to disprove Christianity doesn't that say something? Welcome to Friday Fallacy. This week we're looking at the appeal to ignorance fallacy. The appeal to ignorance fallacy is when a proposition is asserted based on there being no evidence against it. That is, rather than providing evidence for the proposition, the lack of counter evidence is used to support it. This is not a sound way of arguing, as simply because there is no evidence against something does not make it true. That we cannot disprove the existence of extraterrestrials does not mean that they must exist. That we can't prove that life arose through purely naturalistic processes does not mean that it didn't. Some examples of the appeal to ignorance fallacy. If you can't disprove God, then you should believe in him. Scientists don't know everything. Ghosts are just beyond their understanding. The laws of physics can't explain why the Big Bang happened, so God does. There's no evidence that relaxed gun laws cause more violence, so we should uphold our Second Amendment rights. Now, not all appeals to a lack of evidence are fallacious. That is, sometimes the mere lack of evidence does actually tell us something important. If there is no evidence for something, and if that something was true, we would expect to, there to have been evidence, then this suggests that it isn't true. For example, when we cross the road, we look, and if we see no cars, this is actually pretty good evidence that there are no cars coming. Similarly, if a particular god is supposed to grant all prayers, then the fact that many prayer requests don't come true is evidence against that god. However, these situations usually involve experiments that produced a negative result. That is, we've looked for something and haven't found it. If no research has ever been attempted, then any assertion will be an argument from ignorance. For example, there really is no evidence concerning the events prior to the Big Bang. In that case, we have no knowledge about what may or may not have happened then, and so to make any claims would be wrong. Someone who claims that, say, science hasn't explained it, so therefore God must have done it, is using an argument from ignorance. In conclusion, the appeal to ignorance fallacy is when a proposition is asserted based on there being no evidence against it. Until next time, keep your fallacies to yourself.